uh, we're starting a new little thing uh, here at the show called Today's Special. Today's Special is brought to us from Carol Falkowski in Minnesota. So Carol thinks that she is a master of meatloaf art. I have not seen these pictures yet. Let's, let's check out Carol's work. That's a meatloaf. <laughs> That's a muttloaf, ha! Huh? Let's see another one. Oh, that's a corny loaf, right? And a lobster loaf. Uh, let's give Carol a call, shall we, and talk about her daily specials here. Hey, Carol, you on the phone? Yes, I am, hello. Hey, Carol, it's Rach. So I love a meatloaf too, and I love meatballs a lot, because you get to say the word meatballs, and balls is just fun. <laughs> but I want to know, the meatloaves, do, does the theme go through? Like, how do you make the outside, the stuff that looks like frosting, is that potatoes or what? What are you looking at? Well, I saw the corn one and I oh, saw, the, and I saw okay. the lobster one and I saw the doggy one. All right, so the doggy one, I went to the store, I'm standing there looking at eggplants and I thought, oh, those ears would make great huh. uh, basset hound ears. So that's eggplant for the ears of that. And then the mouth, uh, the nose and the mouth are mashed potatoes. And then I went to my local meat market and had a conversation with the young butcher about uh, what kind of meat looked good for the dog's tongue. <laughs> That's adorable. So and it really the, is a meatloaf surrounded with a couple of eggplant. It's adorable. Well, hey. you know, meat, we always serve meatloaf with vegetables and mashed potatoes. I figure why not get them together a little more upstream? Yeah, why not? When did you make your first loaf? And when did you know that you were a great loaf sculptor? <laughs> well, it was several years ago. I had visiting family from out of town. I was going to make a meatloaf, among other things, because it's great leftovers. And I thought, well, why have it look so boring to be just that brick-shaped thing? So I shaped it in a circle like the size of a wreath, and I stuck green beans in it all <gasps> over, like two pounds of cut green beans, put some red sauce on it, baked it, and then and transferred it to a And a star was born. Place. Yes. It, it looked like a million bucks. You know? Star was born. Well, we are truly inspired by you and your very special plates. I've never made a meatloaf that could rival any of those. We want to keep you doing what you're doing and making your meatloaf creations so your local grocery store, Festival Foods of Minnesota, is giving you a $500 gift card. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Keep on rolling those loaves, Carol, and send us your pictures. We love them. We're your biggest fans now. And hey, if you All guys right. well great. Everywhere I look I see meatloaf. So it's I don't know. I wanna I wanna see more of those loaves. <laughs> What's the holidays without a holiday loaf? I wanna know how you're gonna top the wreath. Send us more pictures. All and right, if you guys are watching at home or you're sitting here in our studio audience and you have amazing recipes uh, that you wanna show off and put on the daily special plate, head on over to our website. Let us know. Maybe we'll be calling you next. <laughs>